the north shall tuck tail right, and Francesca. Make for mercy. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. That goes away. I actually could have kept it. Yeah, let's go with that. What music do you guys listen to? Taylor Swift? Ooh. I don't know. I like uh, a variety of music. And I'm creating a new deck and try to decide the losing ground with it. And, and create advantage in that, like two free card advantage and or carry over. What? Fine. If my coins rank to ye, go kiss a dog. Losing with two free card advantage or carry over. I think is your opponent wouldn't really stick around for that. Like thinking like to, thinking to myself, oh, I'm down like I'm I'm up like forty points. Should I let my opponent play another card? Then I play another card, or should I should I just pass? You know. You can do that after you already won. Maybe. People always fight for round one and then give the other round for nothing. It's that seems stupid to me. Well, that is actually a pretty good reason they do that. A shame I have no time. And many times they don't fight for round one because it's already a lost cause. Go on and Some games go like open pass into open pass. Whoa. I never miss. Wow, that, that hurts. Your humble servant. Man, that's uh not idea. But at least something, I guess. I guess I can mark an archer. I never miss. What is he doing? Why not the other guy? I think he is. The north shall touch kind of touched on a uh, somewhat uh, deep topic. My son. A shame I have no time. When you go first, you lose the coin flip, you lost control of the game. Uh, yeah. And in order to get it back, round one, it's pretty damn hard. Some, many times with like lowish tempo decks or medium tempo decks, I give up round one if I lose the coin flip because there's no chance in hell, realistically, that you're gonna take round one. Why? Why that guy? Your Majesty. I cast myself upon thy mercy. Discipline, that is what you folk lack. Don't really get it. Uh, this seemed to be a strong finisher type of deck ag again. Uh, so, what about that topic? <clears throat> yeah. So, in this game, it's also pretty hard to gain card advantage. What, what most players try to go for is improve their card quality. By, uh, or just try to have some carryover. They try to have the most power in the least amount of time. So, many times you see, like, uh... Okay, we can pass now. He can't take it with Francesca. But I kind of wanna Curses. keep fighting. If not by strength, then by stealth. I'd rather take it with even amount of cards than uh, take it with. Uh, then 
Just lose with two cards up. I mean, yeah, that's it. So that's what we see. Like, this this deck so does the same thing. He played the... Uh, this guy who's in the Ordi Graveyard, Hawker Support, to give himself extra value for later. This deck doesn't really do that. And I, honestly, I'm 100% sick of that shit. And I don't want to deal with that. That's what we see from the top decks. Ceres, Morgvark, All Geared. Do something buff up, like, have the more power in the least amount of time. Okay, we gotta play this hey, right uh, now, because it's not gonna be that good later. Again, he wants to get control of the game, because he his win condition is, hey, I'm gonna, I don't know, uh, play like one card l last, and that's what, my card is gonna be better than yours. Uh, but, uh, that's probably not gonna work right now. I've been using a to shuffle back, uh, Nausicaa Raider. Uh, yeah, uh, Brigade, sure. And that works, I, I guess. Now, I'm not so sure how strong he is right now. He needs to play a 16 at this point. Sixteen to take the round. It's gonna be a very impactful gold card. Or I I don't know if he can take it. I think this is the time to pass. It's gonna be a really awkward for him. Like it needs to do 17 in one card, which is the average value of a gold card. Uh, but uh, it cannot do the easy grim combo, so that's out. Avalok doesn't take it. Uh, not Avalok. Uh, Geraldot doesn't take it. The Movie Dwarf doesn't take it, and he's down a card. Uh, he buffs something. We do know that, but I believe Brand starts out as a four. Even if he buffed Bram by one, he is still dealing with, like, not enough. Bram is only a 14 point swing. Oi, hi there, come here. Yeah. Good pass. When you can pass and your opponent has to go three cards down. Oh my god. That was your only chance to win it. I guess he had nothing else, but... Looks like he kinda digged himself into a uh, grave. What do you guys think? Can we win this game? Uh, sure. Let's kick one of those. We were not the ones to start this war. Now this would be a perfect time to play a, our own spy, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen. I can put back uh, valuable cards in my deck, like Selak. I can also put back trash cards in his deck. I can put back a bunch of emissaries in his deck. Slide. I shall do as you call. You talked enough. What? You have Siri? Okay, I guess that's one way to recover your card disadvantage. But also, we can burn down Siri, and that would uh, technically suck. But, no, this is fine. This is fine. Because he's gonna get a card out of it. He's getting a card out of it anyway. I suppose... I suppose letting Siri be Siri is better. Tell me what you've got. Uh, 
I don't know how. Yeah, fine. That was a. Uh... Okay, sure. He recovered the, the card disadvantage fairly well. At this way, he is forced to mulligan Siri away. Um, I could have a, a. Could go a little bit unlucky with this. I just keep it. I just keep everything. Problem is, we either draw into Broach or Vicovaro. I need to throw, not throw down this guy. Then by stealth. He has an emissary. Your humble servant. Slaughter them to a man. He's giving us a target for uh, Vilgefortz. I always find a way in. Are we gonna play this after the Burger Forts? We know that. But everything else seems to be flexible. You'll regret your mum ever squirted you. Still buffing something. I can do that, just in case he wants to be funny. Uh, actually, this is pretty bad to s for a Scorch. Quite a medium task. Fuck. That's uh, really bad. No one can hide from me. <sighs> There's a guaranteed 12. Um. Rainfarm would be probably not better. Mano would be better. Vikubar would be probably worse. I'm gonna take it. Ah, they used tire my tongue about that. Let's dance. Alright, that's that. GG! Hey, this would be a good situation for a Scorch. Scorch instantly! Whatever. GG. That's, that's uh, pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, this is uh, really, really good. I'm keeping it all. Ooh, one hammer would be nice to get. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna go for the alternative line of play. We're gonna open pass against Dagon. His tempo is really uh, respectable. And his carry over is insane. I'm not sure if it's correct. Okay. One of my would be nice to have. Four harpies. I didn't want to get control of the game. It would be a lot easier to get some practice of this matchup. Holy shit. He wants to play some harpies. I would need to swear the harpy. I have no time. Yeah, not 
a lot to play out the Imperial Brigade, yeah. I always find a way in. Okay, let's go with that for now. He might not know that I don't have the... Well, he doesn't know that I don't have the Vedic Hunter in hand. A shame I have no time. Come on. Why only infiltrators? I find a way in. Let's kill one of those. Gave me a, yeah. He gave me an enforcer. Hmm. Do I want it? Or do I want to resurrect his harpy? I'm like, that's really not that great. But the enforcer can really help me push for the win. This round. Actually, that's not the case. He gave me an emissary. Uh, and that's no good. Your Majesty, I cast myself upon thy mercy. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. Go on, in, Kazel! Let's kill one of them. Okay. <clears throat> we are in an okay spot right now. Not great. Definitely not great, but okay. They give you a spy, yeah, I know. Could be a Jennifer deck. Yeah. I know it's deck. It's most definitely a Jennifer deck. Let's dance. That's pretty upsetting. I, but I don't think he wants to Jennifer. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he wants to Jennifer right now. Who knows? He's giving me emissaries. Just to shut down my resurrectors. Joachim wouldn't have much to do. Um... There is but one punishment for traitors. Do not assume you can order me around. Oh man. So many pointed things. You gotta really pay attention. Well, we're not doing it easier for ourselves with giving him a shit ton of spies. Our world is in Oh hard. my god. No one can hide from me. Do I want that? That's actually a pretty strong option right now. I think we gotta take it. Look at 
that crap. <sighs> hmm. Let's go with uh, another. Actually, well, Imperial Brigade would be nice to get out. My son has erred. Your Damn. humble son. I need that. Discipline. That is what you folk lack. Okay, that's a lot of points. Okay. Apparently that's that. We're going round three with two cards up, but he has... A hell of a carryover. Okay. Do I want this or do I want something else? I don't really have the target for it. Actually, I want something else. Sure. I can put back the fog within his deck. Definitely doesn't help me. I have two Nausicaa Brigades in, with one Infiltrator. Oh boy. Maybe I can put in a... An Infiltrator. Yeah, that, that should be the thing, I right? Do as you can. Let's put in a... Roach. And an Infiltrator. Alright, let's go with that. Curious case. Your humble servant. If not by strength, then by stealth. Your words mean nothing now. We gotta go for that. What's that? Even like this, it's weird. A grotto doom anime est space est. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. To That's a commander sword. Yeah. Quite a medium task. Might get an infiltrator. Didn't buff any of the spies. Nothing will stop us. Crap move. Got him. Easy peasy. I know why people played that. Obviously, big Dagon deck. 